our game is good with potential individual players will increase. How much of an opportunity is it for you to get back on track this weekend, uh, specifically looking at Arsenal, their injury problems in defence particularly might be an area you're able to exploit, do you feel that? So we have to, to improve our game uh, regarding the last game, and that is when you have to be focused. So the other issue is not important. Pep, Simon Stone, BBC. Um, after Liverpool had drawn <laughs> on Wednesday, Kyle Walker put a tweet out um, where he he kind of was a bit sarcastic towards Liverpool, and then he then he took it down. First of all, were you aware of what he'd done, and what do you think about that? Are you bothered about your players potentially winding Liverpool up and making them more determined? I don't control. I'm not concerned about the social media, the players with the tweeting or uh, Instagram or the other social media. So I cannot control it. So. But you you make a lot. You say quite a lot that you concentrate on your own team. You can only do. You can only control what Manchester City do. But in an instance like that, it's clearly a player looking at an opposition team, and and it could. Give them a bit more motivation to do better. I don't think so. So the motivation to win games, our seven, the opponents always increase. Not for one tweet or another one. So the opponents always do many things. Uh, sometimes against against us and nothing happened. The motivation is our game. Is what we have to do. <coughs> Uh, Don McGuinness, TalkSport. Can you just um, give us a roundup of any injury issues? Uh, who is available? Who isn't available for Sunday? Not today, except Bini. The other ones take a training session. And how quickly is it out of the system? The defeat to Newcastle. Obviously, things could have been worse with Liverpool drawing to Leicester. But how quickly have you managed to get that out of the system? The players get that out of the system. Oh, it doesn't matter. We have five, six, seven, eight points behind. It doesn't matter. It has to increase our game improve our game, that is not the issue. So, have you analysed... We have done before and I know we can do it, but nothing changed. The fact we are in the position we could be one or two, play, two points or five or six or seven, so we have to focus in our game. An easy question, but have you managed to analyse what you feel went wrong uh, and why that won't happen on Sunday? Yeah, of course we analyze, we talk, we we see what we have to improve in which areas we have to improve and what the way we have to attack some defensive structures like Newcastle, it will be completely different than against Arsenal and and we knew it in the past. We did it in the past. So that's why it's just to analyze what you have to do for no repeat again. You know what you have done the last game. Hi, Pep. Andy Hampson from the Press Association. Do you have a better idea now when Vincent will be fit and how no. frustrated has he been through? No idea. How is he feeling at the moment? No idea. Um, hi, Pep. Jerry Jacks from The Guardian. Um, nice. You've lost um, four games this season. Um, at times you've looked better than last year, but obviously you've lost these four games. Is, is there anything in maybe the fact that David Silva is a bit older? He's 33, 34, Fernandinho. So maybe a bit of fatigue setting in? with regard to how you play with some of your players? It's the same with the question from Kevin. So the team, the way they're playing, potential individuals. So no change one player with uh, 33 years old and after 33 and three months later, later it's older. No. So the team, the team potential, the way we play potential, the individual actions. No, no, we as, I don't expect like a manager, they know them for oneself. You know, take all decisions and solve our problems. Our problems we have must be resolved collectively. Do you know what the problem is then, or is it just because it's a tough league and this can happen? You know, to have four defeats. No, it's, we 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 playing the last two three months every three days different competitions. We jumped from Carabao Cup, Premier League, a little bit before Champions League, and sometimes you play these kind of games. It's try to avoid it again. So, what do you have to do? Hi, Pep. Uh, Dave McDonald from the Mirror. You, you've got three big games in the space of a week. Obviously, Arsenal, Everton, and Chelsea. How concerned are you, particularly with the Everton game that was rearranged? How concerned are you that that could impact negatively on your players? And 
and sort of overload them with so many important games in the space of a week. It was brought same, forward. The situation that we have in this week is the same in the last two months, two or three months. So it's not news. So it's happened. It's happened. Challenge is uh, the only way I know to to uh, after negative result is focusing in the play, play and play and play, and you know in the mentality to say okay. We are in the first of February, a lot of points to play, and still many, many things going to happen, but it's not going to happen good if not increase regarding last game, not in the previous one, regarding last game, our game. That's all. If The situation is simple, so we increase the way we play in terms of uh, and, and many details we didn't do, didn't do quite well, so we don't have options, so the players know it. It's not, not news about that. Hi, Pep. Ian Meadow, ISN TV. Um, how do you rate the job Unai Emery has done this season with Arsenal? And also, where are the major, major dangers in the Arsenal side that worry you? So quite well. It's the first season, new players. Always he has done incredible jobs in everywhere. <coughs> in everywhere. In Spain, the two or three teams they were, in Paris and Germain, and now here. He's doing really well. Well, remains always uh, tough, so very nice, very nice, interesting midfield players with Chaka Torreira, the young guy, and in front, a lot of quality. Like I said, he's an incredible player, and Noe Mayan, movement runs in behind, good wingers, quality with a low tempo, with a zeal, so top side. So no, I don't discover uh, nothing special. But, uh, Liverpool are trying to win the Premier League for the first time. Um, and you being the champions last season. Is it hard to, as much motivate you are, to level this motivation, this atmosphere that can be on the other side of? They have more? Sorry? <clears throat> like, yeah. it's, it's hard to, to cope the motivation, the level, the motivation being a club that has... Regarding our motivation? Yes, exactly. Because they, they never won the, champions, the, the Premier League. So about, about what they feel, I, I cannot answer. I'm not there. So I can answer with the team. So, of course, we are not happy about the last performance. Everybody knows. So we knew it immediately in the half time and after the game. So we know that. But uh, if we don't have the motivation, we'll not be here where we are in the old competitions and trying, you know, another final and a cup being there and uh, Champions League finish first and then last 16 and the league being there. So. Uh, we could not be possible. So, of course, that is a process and many times when the people say you're the perfect team and you are invincible, this kind of thing, no long time about the people say about that. And always my answer was the same. So every game is a proof, every game is a challenge to do what can do better and sometimes there are up and downs during the season for uh, the players <laughs> cannot sustain 11 mountain top level, the opponents are well prepared, they want to beat us and, and, and show us all the results in this week it was difficult for United and it was difficult for all the teams, you know, to to the top six to win their own game. So it's normal. There are a lot of games done a lot a lot of period and sometimes to sustain there sometimes it's tough, but that is a challenge and we want to face them. We'll see. Hey Pat Paul Hurst from the Times. You said you, you needed you need to see an improvement in your team. Is there one particular area where you think you need, there is kind of a big gap? No, 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 there? it's do what we have done. It's not new. Mm. So we have done many, many times. It's back on track in our principles and what you have to do. They know it. So it's not how you have to improve that because it's not the first season, so we did it. So it's a simple things, few things, we have to come back to do it. Is it little details, basically? Yeah. Yeah, no, no, yes, because what the project in Newcastle I didn't, we didn't create or we didn't invent or we didn't do something different what we have done since a long time ago. So, let's come back. Hi, Pat. Simon Bajkowski from the Manchester Evening News. I know you're focused on your team, um, but did the Liverpool result this week lift you and the players after Newcastle? Just to let them know that, you know, Liverpool may drop more points. 
before the end of the season? Well, it's much better. But immediately I would say, how will be our level? If our level is the last game, it doesn't matter. We stay five, two, one. We are not going to win. So n n nothing changed. What we learn, or we have to learn about the previous game for the next game. So if you are satisfied for the result, and that's all. If we don't see what we have to do, no, we are will not be contenders until the end.